Right everybody, have you seen, i am uh, started up my own little uh, YouTube, YouTube page. Do a lot of fishing with Fish Hunter UK. Um, just thought I'd get a few bits of my own up. Probably all seen it. Bear Hooks, that's the name of my boat. Um, it's just a short little little video, just trying a few editing apps out. Um, hopefully ping up a video and then the start of more to come. I'm out with Fish Hunter um, on Saturday, hopefully, on Dentex 3 out of Coimbra, just for a laugh, see how many, many whiting we can get. But uh, basically, what I'm going to do today is um, last time I went fishing was with, with Reese, um, probably about two weeks ago. You might have seen the video that he posted up. Unfortunately, I was unable to get any filming done myself. Um, but that was the last time I looked into my tackle box. So today, I'm just gonna basically sit here and one of these. There are other brands available. Um, and go through my tackle box, which is there. So first things first is, great that open. There and now you're seeing this literally. I've just got it from the garage two weeks ago. I haven't yet, I haven't opened it myself to see what's inside. I am not the most tidiest angler, I do not look after all my gear, I sort of use it and abuse it as much as I can, really. Um, it's quite tidy actually, it's quite surprising. A few rigs in the wallet, um, what the original sea slime. I don't think you can beat that one personally. Um, I know he's changed a little bit and improved it, but I still think Michael West's Sea Slime, the first one, the first edition, was the best he ever did. Um, no, I haven't washed my reels. That is not how you want to see your reel. And it's wet. Still covered in salt water and seaweed. Uh, bit of lugworm there, I think. Yeah, so they're going to be getting a wash. Let's check the other one. Much the same, I suppose. Now these are actually great reels. These are the uh, pen spin fisher. Got lots of lots of grunt and power to it. Unfortunately, this isn't the long cast version. They've got a cone spool, the new ones. It helps line lay and helps cast a bit further. But for what I do, this does me. Now, at the end of the night, I just sort of packed up, unclipped and, unclipped and dumped some rigs in the, the box. Now, I should really learn from this lesson that I used to do a lot of uh, freshwater fishing. And I was pike fishing on the River Medway, um, put my hand in my box to pull out a change of plug and copped a treble look in my finger, I had to go to the hospital and have it removed. Now, you should really, I mean look, just hooks laying at the bottom of the box. Now anybody sort of rummaging through, if you were trying to be quick and in the dark or whatever, you're going to cop one of them in your finger. Don't do this at home, kids. I'll just pull that mess out of there. Still looks a mess, still got tidied it up. But, Christ, look. I mean, it's an 8 0 hook. When, when was the last time I used an 8 0 hook? And what was I fishing for? What was I fishing for? God knows. While we're um, looking, this 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 bit of plastic tray there, I like to keep a few batteries and, and bait elastic, a lighter. That is just a bit of cable trunking that's been fixed on. Great little tip. Little plastic screws through there. Um, with a knife. Lovely and clean. As I said, I look after all my gear, look at that. But, a good little tip, is I always know it's there. Just put it back in the thing. 
Oh, just pulled that off. Just a bit of Velcro. Sticky back, sticky back Velcro on the lid, on the back of the knife box. On there, jobs are good. And also, in here, I've got the scissors, T bar, and that is just in a little, a little bit of plastic tube. Again, just screwed into the sides with some plastic caps to make it look neat. Slots in there, and I know where they're going to be. These are a great little bit of kit. Got your weights, got new weights in there. Line dispenser goes in there. They're good. Now I'm actually laughing myself because going through these and I just found, um, well, they originally was a pair of boxer shorts. You can see they've been cut. Everybody's been on the beach. Um, <laughs> and what can you say? Uh, you can't really leave your rods, can you, to uh, go to the toilet. And if you haven't got any rag or paper towel or toilet roll, um, it's too cold to take the socks off, so we use the boxes. Um, well, I did anyway. They are clean ish. Um, but yeah, there we're going in the, in the bin with the rigs. We're getting there slowly, slowly. This is what I use. For like, it's a, it's a, it says Castaway PVA, it's made by Castaway PVA, it isn't a PVA system, it's a bait guard system, um, although it does dissolve, um, it's environmental, it says environmental friendly, so it does dissolve after a while, although in salt water it doesn't dissolve as fast in fresh water, but I basically use this for putting crab, um, crab or like, bluey or just like something really oily baits that's soft that you, you, you basically just compact it into it make a little ball put it on your hook cast it out um, I've actually caught lots of catfish this way as well um, on whole squid so I put three three whole squid in compact it down cast it out it just catch as many fish on it as you like um, bring it back in give it a little squeeze all the juices come back out again cast it back out away you go um, I've fished carp like it as well um, for the cod but yeah no it's a brilliant little brilliant little thing when it's when you're smooth out fishing you just get like a couple of crabs some hardbacks some peter crabs if, it, if they're not that good they've been in the freezer that well just whack them all in there crush them all up whack them all in there cast it out jobs are good and it really does work it's a bit like i think fox do one as well um, but yeah no i really recommend this product it's good Dehydrated squid. Yeah. I suppose if you was stuck on a desert island and you had no bait to catch fish, you could, I don't know, give it a go, but yeah, not for me. Now, most of you have probably already seen this. Um, I've had it a few months now. Um, and I used it, we demonstrated it on one of the fish hunter videos when we was fishing, I think it was Barton's Point, uh, a couple of skate there I believe. But these are an awesome bit of kit. It's literally, look, it's sort of not much bigger than my hand. Um, but the power is just brilliant. I mean, gone are the days where we need artillery lamps and all that, disco light if you ever wanted disco. Oh, they're brilliant, they really are. I'm pretty sure it was about 16 pounds, something like that on Amazon. Um, but definitely worth it. I mean, I haven't charged that up for a while, probably done about two fishing trips on it. And it's still got plenty of plenty of life in it. Um, I'm not sure, I think it's something like seven hours on the, on the um, brightest setting, which is, too bright basically and more than enough for a, a beach session for me anyway personally I'm not a person that gets out much um, but yeah no definitely recommend it Amazon about 16 pound I think actually there is a link in the fish hunter video um, see if you can watch it and have a look thank you very much